Hi, Chess Kane here. I want to do a quick bulletin on a oil filter implosion. We had a customer that had a filter that was crushed and he called me up. He was pretty upset and I had read about this problem before. I said, uh, well, hang on, let's, let's look into your issue. And I did some research and I found out that this, and I felt this issue was important enough to make the video because this affects a lot of Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Fiat, and Volkswagen customers all use the same filter. Uh, the story is, is there's, there was a prior uh, make up until 2011. They switched from the oil filter adapter that used this filter because there was an internal flaw with the uh, pressure uh, relief valve. Well, the new units incorporated that into the cap. And I found a service bulletin that warns when you change the oil, you can actually damage the cap which from that point on, you're gonna have crushed filters until you replace the cap. So let's go over that real quick, but first I wanna cover all the vehicles that this relates to. So it's uh, uh, the ProMaster vans, the Ram 1500s, Jeep Cherokees, Chrysler Pacifica, a Dodge Caravan, any of the Chrysler products after 2014. And if you have the 3.6 engine, uh, this video is for you. But anyway, here's the new filters versus the old. So 2014 and up, uh, they came out with this newer design to solve that oil uh, pressure valve problem, which was uh, occasionally causing zero pressure across the uh, filter. There was never zero pressure in the engine, but it was zero pressure across the filter. It was bypassing the filter. So they came up with this new design that actually put the valve in the cap. So right here on the screen I'm going to put the bulletin from Oil and Lube News that explains that the problem, uh, what, what the cause of the problem is and what to look out for. So by going to one design to another they they solve one problem they created another. So yeah essentially if this filter needs to be needs to be loose like this if you snap it in and it's not square in this housing that happens from not pulling it out square straight across if you or a mechanic takes this filter and they uh, they try to twist it out you know kinda flip it out like that uh, you will end up with that crushed filter for every filter you put in there uh, since the last filter and what it is is you see those splines there uh, the oil flows through little notches in between there and when the engine is cold uh, and the oil is thick, say I'd say 40 degrees Fahrenheit and colder, this valve right here, you can actually pull it a little bit with your hands, it needs to be free enough to open beyond about 15 psi. Uh, because none, no oil filter, whether it's a canister like this, a spin-on filter or these element types, the media is never designed to take more than say about 13 psi. So these have a bypass valve inside. They're fail, they're fail proof. You know they last forever. But these ones, yeah, there can be human error which will cause them to fail. So that's the bulletin. You want to be sure when you pull these filters out, you pull them out straight. Uh, but here's a couple things now, extra material that I learned. Uh, reading up on this product problem on the Chevy's customers are buying our filter not because the nanofiber not because they have three times the capacity as the Celios but because they have a screen inside and the screen does slow down that uh, implosion effect but should you have a mechanical problem elsewhere in the engine and the, the filter implodes on itself, you won't get the fibers from the filter floating through the whole oil system and in your bearings and things like that. And you could see what could happen if that should happen. Uh, Celios filters, like this one or this one, they don't use a screen because they have resins holding them together. Same with this, you know, conventional. There's no screen in there because resins hold that material together. But once you hit about 30% and that's our filter right there. Once you hit 30% of the life of these filters, 
the glue in there, the resins, they coagulate, kind of like a Bakelite material. So at startup, the oil cannot flow through that material at all for until it hits about 75 degrees. And then same with these, when you get extreme cold temperatures, we're talking about 30 degrees and less, uh, any thick oil is going to have the effect on the surface as being greater than uh, 13 psi differential. So the oil has nowhere to go, but that's why they put these bypass valves. Not because the engine might have a lot of dirt and it clogs the filter, but just cold startup. That's a normal function at cold uh, startup. So just a little background on that. One more thing I'll mention is the prior design. Uh, I'll put a picture of that unit. And there's a lot of good videos on YouTube. There's just nothing on the new ones. But basically this valve right here relies on the inner uh, structure, which is the uh, bypass valve, that pushes this up and locks it into place. So now you've got all the oil going through the filter, but if this valve breaks and it's not there, you're in bypass mode the whole time. So you have zero oil pressure. And what happened, and what happens is, as the mechanic said, you pull this filter off, you turn your back, you answer the phone, and the spring has so much pressure on it, the little uh, tips that hold that spring loose, without the cap and the filter being on, it's got the freedom to just jump out of its socket. So you turn your back for five seconds, the spring jumps out, you didn't even see it, you put the filter on, you put the other style cap on, then all of a sudden, again, you have no oil pressure going, you have no filtration going on. So... That, that uh, pretty much sums up the issue for the Pentastar engines, so you want to keep a spare cap in stock. Here's the part number, 917190. Again, 917190, that's the Dorman part number. Uh, 12 bucks, $13 at uh, O'Reilly's. And I'm going to keep this one here, because I'll, I'll, next time I sell one of these, I've got this to help the customer out. So now that we know what the problem is, uh, just keep an eye on that. All right. Until next time, thanks again for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and share with a friend. Thank you.